somebody had a book in the ultraviolet, and they showed that bromine had a certain absorption coefficient, mm -hmm. chlorine had another absorption coefficient. And it was fairly obvious that if you put the two filters together, you would get the thing that just about what we wanted. All the first work on uh, ozone, of course, was photographic. Mm -hmm. So we had to develop the photographic technique. We found that in tests, if you put, say, circles of light over a plate, more circles of light, the centers of these circles are always much lighter than the edges. So that we had to devise a means of developing them uniformly while we tried all sorts of things. Edges were almost much darker, although they're uniformly exposed, which means they were not uniformly developed. There was about that time you developed the photometer, wasn't it? About then yes. we developed the yeah. photometer, yes. That's right. Then we're having got the thing, had to um, measure them. It worked very well indeed.